first band. You have 60 seconds. Spring, you have 40 more seconds. Uh, we're gonna ban... Karina. We're gonna ban Karina. Okay. Confirmed? Yes, confirmed. Alright, um, sorry. Let's click there. And... Timer ends now. And let's go to Team XL. Um, ban Saber. Confirmed. Saber confirmed? Okay. Alright, let's go to Spring. Your timer starts now. Who is going to be your okay. first pick? Who... Yeah, 40 seconds left. We'll take Tigreal. Tigreal and? Firm. Oh. oh, sorry, the first pick, sorry. Yeah. Um, my mistake. And timer ends now, and let's go to Team XL. I'll jump, I'll jump now you can do your first two pick. Timer starts now. Um, S, S, 2. Um, Bruce Lee and Confirm. Two. Okay, awesome. You have SDs, where is SDs? I always have a hard time finding SDs on this map. <laughs> the guys didn't look didn't look outstanding at all. There he is. Timer ends now. All right, let's go to Team uh, uh, Sura here. Uh, uh, you can now do your uh, next uh -oh. pick. We're gonna take and Nat, Natalia, and Clint. And Clint, is that confirmed? Yes, confirmed. Okay, timer ends now. Let's go to Team Exile, and I'll join you can do your next two pick. Timer starts now. Mm -hmm. Hey Dave, what was Asura's first pick again? Uh, it's, it's Tigreal, Natalia, and Clint. That's their pick so far. You have 20 seconds left. Aljan, you have 20 seconds left. Um, we'll do Hayabusa. 10 seconds left. Five. Hayabusa and Franco. Is that confirmed? Yeah, confirmed. Okay, timer ends now. And let's go to Asura. Uh, you now have your next two pick. Timer starts now. All right, we're gonna take Bellman and Cyclops. Bellman and Cyclops. Yes. Is that confirmed? Yep. All right. All right. So timer ends now. And let's go to Axel again. Oh, John, you can now have your last pick. I'm sorry. Hello. Is now your last hit, uh, last pick. Timer is. Uh, was their uh, last pick? Last two pick are Belmont and Cyclops. So. Belmont and Cyclops. Yeah, it's also uh, in the in the text channel. So you have 50, uh, 45 seconds left. Um. Um, I'll pick you. Pick who? Yi Sunshin. Yeah, he's on shit, confirmed. Alright, so and now let me explain the rule once again. You said have two pauses, one pause is three minutes long, okay? And then if you want to pause, type pause in the chat. Without, um, besides that, all chat are forbidden in the game, okay? You cannot type anything unless, besides GG. When you type GG, it means conceding, alright? So that means you guys, your team need to concede the game. And, uh, and um, um, are we clear on that? Yes. Spring? Yeah, we are clear. Okay, let's go through the picks again. 
For Exile, we have Bruce Lee, Estes, Hayabusa, Franco, and Yi Sun Xing. And for Team Asura, we have Tigreal, uh, Natalia, Clint, Belmont, and Cyclops. So we're clear on those picks? Yep. Okay, so I'll, I'll, let's get off this Discord now and let uh, game will start in 10 seconds. Where, uh, where's the last person, by the way? Wait, I'll ask where's Art. Art. Where's Arch? Alright. Um, okay, I'll get to the score. Yeah, get off the score now. The game will start right, in 10 thanks. seconds. Alright, dudes, we're back. Hey, yo. Alright. Why don't we start a match right now? And, uh, guys, this is the quarterfinal between Asura and, uh, between Team Asura and Team Exile. Where wins the battle will go to semifinal. And uh, now it's pick and ban phase. People have already done that in off game. So as you can see right now, for Team Asura, they have Tigro, Natalia, Clint, Belmont, and Cyclops. And for Exile, we have we have Bruce Lee, Estes, Hayabusa, Franco, and Yi Sun Shin. So uh, Dee, which team comp do you like better here? You know, I'm gonna have to say I'm really liking Team Asura's team composition a lot better than uh, Team Exile's. Um, but again, I, I, I'm not so much for that Cyclops pick. Uh, I think uh, Aurora or Eudora do a much better job. But Cyclops does have that uh, plus side that he does have a lot more mobility than the other two mages. He will um, do a, a lot better job roaming the map. So we'll see how Team Azura takes advantage of that, that fact there. And um, again, with Team Exile there, you do see Franco. So you're always worried about that pick comp. Um, scenario where Franco will just hook you and create that four or five power play. Um, so again, we'll, we'll see how how this breaks down. But um, I, I will give Exile um, the slight advantage on uh, experience here. Um, but again, I, I I do like Team uh, Asura's team composition a little bit better. What do you think, Dave? I, I gotta say I, I'm 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 with you on that. And uh, if you look at the the map right here, Asura Asura is not an easy team either. I mean, obviously they gotta buy, but they beat PSFY. And uh, last game when they played, you know, you saw their strategy was very clean, was very neat, and um, and know, they know they're gonna go against Exile this time, so they came prepared. So. Um, we'll see because obviously you saw the ban. They banned Karina to make sure Archangel didn't take it. Also saw the, we also saw the half troll and Archangel there uh, faking us out with that Bane pick last second there if you didn't yeah. notice. Yeah, and then uh, Archangel is going to have to play Hayabusa with uh, uh, Retribution here, which is pretty interesting because I've never seen him play that. So <laughs> looks like Archangel is fully, fully uh, committed on playing uh, a different kind of assassin role here. But both sides already picked their game, picked their characters, and uh, according to my chart, it looks correct. So why don't we get into the game where we're really, really fast? And before we jump in the game, real quick, again a quick shout out to everybody out there on YouTube watching. Thank you guys so much. Please hit that uh, like button. It really helped Dave out a lot. Welcome to and we're going to get this started here. Um, we're going to see who, who goes where. Of course, let's see what Team Exile's got cooking here. They got, looks like they're going to invade. Oh, pause for spring. We might as well just reset the game here at this point. Um, I mean, yeah, let me ask spring. So what's going on? If it's, if it's a serious issue, we might have to start again. Let me ask. Again, I'd feel way more comfortable just restarting this whole thing just to make sure we got. Give me one second. Uh, Spring, what's up? He's kind of disconnecting. He's reconnecting real quick. Just give me like a few seconds. Okay, okay. Yeah, he's reconnecting. He's as uh, uh, Spring says he's reconnecting these. It's fine. It's not a bug. Uh, the whole the whole process actually, if you didn't notice, actually takes quite long. Like if you look at the schedule here, which I will show up on screen. Uh, this game was scheduled to start at 12 o'clock, and uh, now it's 12:30, so we're quite delayed. But uh, after this match, it's gonna be the yeah, last game between SK. Start. Okay, we can start now. All right. Yep. So this game will start in ten seconds. Get ready. Um. 
Yeah, again, we see Archangel, or excuse me, the entire Exile, four members coming down middle lane. It almost looked like they're going to try to steal that blue buff, so we'll see if Team um, Azura is aware of that and how they're going to contest it. Or they might just go for a straight-up gank here and try to yeah. hook some. Luz has a Korean strat, right? You have four, four of them coming to mid lane, and they're gonna go steal enemy blue buff um, with the Archangel on the high blue side here. To establish early dominance here, make sure the Tyler did not counter counter steal, right? Now the blue buff is most likely gonna be gone. Not just the blue buff, look like small minion gonna be gone as well. They have four here. There's no way for other team to contest. They're under leveled, and the Tyler try to take the enemy blue buff at, at this point. I mean. Is it gonna be enough? We have Aljun coming in, um, and Aljun knows, um, yeah. Aljun knows something's up here and try to steal this. Natalia does have retribution here. I think, I think, I don't, I don't. It doesn't seem like he can contest in time, and but he's gonna do some damage though. So, yeah, Natalia did take the boot buff in return. So we're Great. really good job. The camera is Great. blocked on every single character, as you can see. Um, we're interesting. Hayabusa are gonna get away. Um, and I almost want to say that Team Azura kind of came up on top there. Let's check the score real quick. Yeah, yeah. Azura actually is ahead on gold. Because yep. they, they were able to... They didn't. They, they have everybody on the lane, so... Bottom lane lost a lot of minions there that first wave. So yeah. that's kind of where, where that lead comes from. So great job again by Team Azura. Not really getting scared there. Seeing, seeing the... Uh, the game plan there and kind of countering there without really engaging them so great job by team azura there but on the other hand asura mid really take a lot of damage from uh, because he was slowly slowly tanking that blue buff now she has to go home and reset um but going home with uh, with natalia in a bush is a great idea that means when, when you go home you're gonna have your passive ready so you're gonna run a whole lot faster to lane uh, as you saw there so yep and look at that she's already back without really missing much action down middle lane um, there's there's a bit of action going down bottom lane. Looks like Team Exile is gonna take the blue again. Nope, there was no blue there. They just went there to harass. Yeah, and uh, it's two level three. Both of them are close to level four here. Exile have three people bottom and four people bottom now. Cyclops is getting ulted by Hayabusa here. Here, oh here they kicked and Cyclops most likely will die. First one to come down for his Dece. And now a spring right here is in some trouble, but spring is stranded in this little island, but he won't be fine. He's a tank. Meanwhile, middle lane we have Natalia uh, pushing the wave as fast as he can, try to get some early experience. Now he's his passive is not proc right now. Fortunately, even though they saw her, but oh, the hook is not gonna connect. But they did not hit that damage, uh, you know, <laughs> not enough damage in time. And now the boot bomb looks like will be contested. Uh, naked guy try to get away as fast as he can on spring right here. Natalia's in the bush. He knows who's gone. Meanwhile, Spring is gonna die two to zero now in favor of Team Exile. And Hayabusa is gonna try to steal this blue buff with everyone here from Team Exile. They're gonna take this blue buff pretty easily. And Natalia most likely will not gonna go get the blue buff this time. I don't know what's the thinking process behind that uh, move here. The blue buff is taken from uh, for, from Team Exile, and Cyclops now is in a whole lot of trouble. Cyclops is gonna all oh, get knocked back, knocked back, knocked off. Be we die, she needs ultimate. It's not gonna be enough damage, so. Um, interesting for um, interesting for Cyclops that just keep on getting getting picked on. I think. Yeah. Again, Team uh, Exile seems very experienced here, knowing where where to exploit the weaknesses and um, really um, just kind of getting a grip of this game. Belmont, this may not be the best choice here. Why does Belmont go in? Why does Belmont go in and do that? I have no idea. What she, what she, what she should have done is just go in for that ult, for the ultimate. But now he's gonna get punished by that. So five to zero now in favor of Team Exile. Um, interesting choice. I mean, I thought Belmont was gonna dash in using the ultimate to get out, but he dash in and starts spinning. I mean, like, how, what's what's the spinning gonna do to the turtle? Yep. I mean, you really needed to do that burst damage and come out with that with that kill there. Oh, look at that! The flick, the hook flicker, and then Tigreal able to push everyone back to tower here. But no one's taking tower damage, and the tower is still up! Okay, finally Bruce Lee got the tower here, but now Tigro's gonna die. 6-0, Belmont get hooked back into uh, into the enemy here, and this is not good. But Belmont's able to dash away, he has no damage, and he's really not tanky at all. I think Belmont went for damage first, no wonder. He's going for um, Bloodlust Axe blood axe first. I mean, at this circumstances, it may not be the best choice. Yep. And most likely Tane will die here. Now that flicker is not gonna save you against Hayabusa so against the tower here. I mean that's a bad decision for staying there and um 303. 
they really help Hayabusa to farm here. Team X are, I think their core, I think every single gameplay you saw, every team has a core player that they try to help to get farmed as fast as they can. I think this is a really good strategy. I think the core strategy never changes, even though they change their, their team comp, they change back and forth, but the core strategy always help that one person get really farmed, right? And, yes, and yes I agree, Dave. Yeah, for Team Archangel, for Team Exile, is always Archangel. For Team Gosu, is always powerless in general, right? It, it, it never changed. So. Yep. And again, Team Team uh, Exile here seems like they got a pretty firm grasp on the game. At least Team uh, Ozuro is able to take a tower down the middle lane, which is a little bit is a little something. So. You mean Team Azuro, You mean top lane? Oh, excuse me, yeah, top lane is what I meant. So one tower difference, and at the same time, Cyclops most likely will go down here. Archangel will get away and get a minion as fast as, you know, as safely. Wow. Four, zero, and Arch Archangel doing an amazing job here, just harassing everybody and catching you one-on-one. -on -one. He's going to he's gonna make you pay for that. The the problem I see from uh, Team Arsura right here is, it's they obviously are lacking experience going against uh, going against Hayabusa. They know Hayabusa... You don't want to solo against Hayabusa with a mage or ADC, and they already taste that, you know, the, the, the bad fruit of that, but they're still doing that, right? They're still having, like, one person soloing against Hayabusa, so... Yeah, you definitely don't want that, and here we see some action going on, Hayabusa's on this Clint one-on-one. -on -one. Clint's in a lot of trouble, he's able to get away, luckily, under tower, but, again, look at that, he barely got away there, Dave. With tiny BD HP, and meanwhile, Cyclops and Belmont may be in some trouble here in mid lane, and let's go ahead and go to there. Um, looks like I cannot, looks like everybody from Team Asura's camera is kind of bucked, and uh, we just have to use um, Team Exile's camera right here. Hayabusa going in for the harass again. Uh, this time harass will come with no results, and uh, he's going to go back. Yep, again, both teams are doing an amazing job kind of staying in this game. Let's refresh the uh, the, the gold real quick. Yep, and Team uh, Team Exile's got about a 3,000 gold lead, about 2,500 to be more exact. But again, over here, we just see the, the overall power of, of Team Exile and their coordinated attacks. Uh, Team Mazur, look at that. I mean, just the, the heal on that Estes and Bruno kind of knows his limit there. Wasn't really, or excuse me, Chu was never really in any danger there. Yeah, and uh, this is interesting because right now we have um, the hammer locked. We have a 3,000 gold lead and refresh that. A 4,000 gold lead in favor of Team Exile right here. This might be a worse once and again. At this point, if if there is, oh, Hayabusa taking some harass here and get away safely. Uh, his build is full damage because they're in, a, they're in a really good spot at this point. He does not need to go defensive. So, yeah, yeah, and he has he has blue buff every single game. You did not notice. Yeah, and like I was saying earlier, I really don't like that um, Cyclops pick for Team Asura. I I just feel like he lacks that real burst damage, and I feel like that's what's lacking so much on Team Azura right now. Yeah. Oh, Hulk is gonna go down a minion here. You get entire team X out except for Archangel is going on, but Archangel actually rotating the bottom lane. <coughs> He's using his blade here. Cyclops ultimate is gonna connect to nothing here, and Hayabusa gonna push in the tower. And luckily, he's not gonna die here. Two is ultimate gonna miss completely. This might be really bad for Team Asura here because they uh, their main skills has already been used and they they haven't hit anything yet. Hayabusa is gonna go out, and Hook is not gonna connect. Bruce Lee is gonna kick. Cyclops here, Cyclops is gonna die. The hero lock mode, as you can see, is definitely at work right here. And meanwhile, XLG on the Franco is able to flicker away and Tigo died once again. Unstoppable from uh, from Archangel here. And he's on Zykes is harassing those two tanks like it never happened. And, and look at Natalia. Natalia now gets spotted right here. Natalia gonna use his second ability, but Archangel catch him with the with with a little thing and now now Archangel, oh, sorry, Natalia's in a whole lot of trouble, and Natalia's sure enough gonna go down. 0 3 0 is 12 to 0 so far. At least get a kill. <laughs> um, yeah, something like that, Dave. I think they need a little bit more than just a kill here. Um, I team... think I think getting a kill right now is not just just like getting a kill. It's more of a mental thing that they can't actually. Get. <laughs> At least they can get a kill this game. <laughs> I feel like. I feel like when your team is not able to get a single kill a at this of, point. A lot of the problems here come down on the shoulders of Tigreal. 
He's been kind of missing his ultimates and not really been that, that front line that you expect out of a Tigreal. What do you think, Dave? I, I, I actually agree. I actually agree because um, so far it's just... Um, and again, I really just don't see the damage besides, you know, uh, an ultimate from Balmain and a few auto shots from... Um, from Clint here, I just don't see the real power behind Team Team Azura. Yeah, yeah. And why don't we go to the uh, director lock mode and what? Want to confirm the next game with uh, these? Why don't take take care of the company for a few seconds? Here. Oh, we have a battle going on over here again. Exile Archangel just being so aggressive here, taking down this Clint almost, but he did get caught under tower. Tigro, Tigro did get a four man lock up, but no follow up, so that's equal to zero zero though here, and he's gonna die actually from the hook. Oh my goodness. This is really, really bad for Team Azura at this point. Definitely, they are in a little bit of trouble, trouble here. But again, it's oh. no, it's never over until it's over. Meanwhile, Azura, uh, um, the Natalia gonna die here. Belmont, does he have ultimate? Belmont's get ultimate here. Belmont's gonna die. This is not looking good for Team uh, Team Azura at, at all. It's a 17, it's actually a 7,000 gold lead at this point. Cyclops gonna use ultimate to nothing. Uh, Hayabusa, Hayabusa almost got a kill here. Even since ultimate is not get a kill on, um, the hook's not gonna connect. But at this point, they're really, really, they're they're looking at a really dangerous game here. Oh, oh, Hayabusa got a kill. Tigros ultimate is gonna connect here. Exile 10, maybe the first kill. Indeed, looks like they will get the first kill here, and the game will end. And Exile will take the victory against Asura and go towards the final. Congratulations to Azura for getting that. First kill right before the game ends. Good job for Team Azura, but a better job for Team XL there coming out with the victory. Congratulations for them moving on to the uh, semifinals. Yeah, this is this game is just so this game is so brutal. <laughs> I got, I At some point of the game, I was just hoping to close my eyes and hope they got a kill, and they're not get, getting it. So good job, good job, Hot Six. You you deserve my uh, kudos. You deserve my uh, my salute. <laughs> The tank got the kill. That's that's <laughs> that's something there. And look at look at um Exiles, look, look at the look at Arcanus build right. Look obviously he he actually is using my my new build right. He got full different production and he got the uh, a thunderbolt.